Hi, what's up? My name is Moyo and I'm giving you tips on how to survive in Lagos when you just move back. One of us moved back to Nigeria. And uh, when we first moved back, we don't really know that many people. We think we do because we come back for Christmas and we know everybody. But then when you come back in like a March, February, when everyone's gone, you realize that you don't really know anybody out here. So, communication is very important when you just move back because, first of all, you don't know anybody in this country. Like, maybe you know a few people, but everyone's working. You know, you're just back. You don't have a job. You need people to talk to. And especially when you go out, you meet new people. They say, you know, you come back, you want to talk. You don't really have that many people to talk to. You're going to have to keep communication with your friends abroad, with family abroad, and all these other people. I'll tell you, MTN, Etisela, Airtel, all the same shit. They're all expensive, especially if you want to call abroad. You have to call your friends, especially to tell them, oh my god, this just happened. Ah, no, let me tell you, can you imagine? Oh, I hate this country. Oh, it's so hot in Nigeria compared to winter in America. Oh, this, oh, that. But you have to, you end up having to communicate with people abroad. A lot of my friends haven't moved back yet or hadn't moved back at that time. So what had happened a lot was I ended up having to communicate with them a lot because I didn't really have that many friends here. I actually didn't really know anybody. First of all, when I got back, I had to get internet. Internet is the most important thing to get. You need internet to do anything online anyway, of course. So um, what I did was I got Swift 4G. Swift 4G, I pay about 7,000 a month. I had to get internet plan from one of these networks, mobile networks. So I use... On one phone I use MTN and on the other phone I use Etisela. Etisela seemed faster at that point when I got it because, um, for, especially for the iPhone, it was faster. They have 4G, they have 3G, it's really good. So I ended up buying it. How can you do it in the cheapest way possible? Easy! Thanks to me, I'll let you know. First of all, Viber. You use Viber. Second, WhatsApp or Blackberry Messenger. Thirdly, FaceTime so you can see each other talk 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 well FaceTime Skype all the same as long as you can see I believe FaceTime is much clearer than Skype in Nigeria because of connection our connection is not that great but at least you're able to see people you are able to see them so you don't feel too far away from them so and that helps a lot so. I'm an app on iPhone it's called Viber uh, Viber basically allows you to make free calls to people who also have Viber. Thank God a lot of people have Viber, a lot of my friends had Viber, so it was easy for us to talk for free. Well, it's not really free because you're going to pay for it via internet, but at least you don't have to see money go so fast. Um, if you're calling directly, it's really expensive in the long run. Um, I know at first when I used to call, her direct, call my friends directly, I'll spend like 1500 in like an hour. And that's on credit. And but when I got Viber, it was much cheaper and much easier. And then we can talk forever as long as the internet. Is. It made it so much, so much easier for us to communicate. So make sure you download Viber if you're moving back. You need Viber. So your friends have Viber, you have Viber, and y'all can communicate all the time. Another thing that was helpful was BBM. BBM helps a lot because it's, well, and WhatsApp. It helps a lot because you're chatting. You know, you're sending messages quickly. They can send you pictures. Um, they can send you things. You can send them. You can see something. Oh wow! Look at that take a picture, send it via BBM or via WhatsApp to them, they get it and it's really good. It, it helps with the communication as well. Especially if you have a question or whatever the case is, maybe your mom's there, your dad's there, your sister's there, oh yo, do you know where this is in the house? And they're like, oh yeah, blah, 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 so that's Christmas. And, you know, at least the communication is going, which is good. Um, another way to communicate is FaceTime. At least, you know, especially in Nigeria, like I noticed a lot of times for me, I kind of missed my friends or I missed my family and I wanted to see them. Like for example, they had Thanksgiving in America, but I was here and I was the only one here. And you know, Nigeria does not celebrate Thanksgiving. So what happened was, um, while they had the Thanksgiving dinner, um, they ended up FaceTiming me. So at least I got a little experience from it. I got to experience what they're experiencing over there. I got to see everybody together. Of course, it made me miss them, but seeing is believing. Like seeing them just made my heart so heavy and uh, yeah I kind of miss them a lot but I mean tip when you're moving back make sure you have Viber, Blackberry Messenger or WhatsApp and also FaceTime the iPhone is the best thing to have thank you and uh, tune in for the next vlog bye